Good evening. It is Saturday. It's uh, April 21st, 2018. Uh, we have a long video for you today. Long enough, anyways. 15 minutes. I uh, spent, let's see, I went to work on this about maybe 4 a.m. And uh, finished it close to 11, which is just ridiculous. It just shows how much how much time I screwed around while drawing this. Uh, and my video file thingy says that it's like 2 hours and 30 minutes of drawing. So I spent from 4 to 11 uh, with only 2 and a half hours of drawing. Some of this I, I did not record. Uh, a couple times I forgot. So I redid uh, Rosenstein's head like 6 times. I just wasn't really happy with it. I wasn't happy with my horse head either for the longest time. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, the Republicans are really, really going after, well, the Justice Department, Comey, Rosenstein. Um, a bunch of Republicans have sent this um, file thingy to uh, the Justice Department winning investigations, criminal investigations, on Andrew McCabe, Jim Comey, Loretta Lynch, Hillary Clinton, and half of it's over stuff that's already been debunked, you know, like the Dozier, like they think the Dozier is some sort of illegal thing. Uh, the Dozier is not, there's nothing illegal about the Dozier and there's nothing illegal about the FBI using the Dozier to get wiretaps. There's, there's nothing, nothing was improperly done, but they, they want a criminal investigation for that. They want a criminal investigation for Uranium One, which is just another uh, Republican boogeyman. It's, there's nothing to that either. Um, Hillary Clinton had, first off, there was nothing illegal about it. Uh, and they say, look, 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 uh, people, foreign governments donated to her charity, including Russians. So, uh, and then she approved the sale of uranium to a Russian company. What she did not uh, approve the sale. She's not, or she did not have power to grant the sale. In fact, she didn't even have power to kill the sale. Uh, it took like 18 agencies to grant it. The only person who could have killed it was the president. So, but they still going after this. Um, even Shep Smith on Fox News said, you know, it was just a, a stupid talking point. Uh, and they won't, uh, what did I say? They won't, yeah, and the, and the whole Dozier thing, uh, and of course her emails, that was the other thing. Uh, they created a, a fake website going after Jim Comey. I uh, probably got to cut that part of the video out because I just kept redoing the tongue and tongue and tongue and tongue and then came back and we did it again. Uh, the, the Republican National Committee, I couldn't get his butt right either. They're uh, they're making a, even making a website going after James Comey. Um, the president is yelling for the arrest for people. I mean, how a tin pot dictator banana republic is that? Uh, this is some scary stuff. Um, and they're they're really really going after Rosenstein. They're, they're, some Republicans are threatening to impeach him or uh, cite him for contempt of Congress for not giving them everything that they want. And this week, um, he gave them the memos that James Comey wrote, and the Republicans leaked them to the media within an hour of receiving them. Now remember, these Republicans are always upset about leaks. But they're the ones who got the memos, and they leaked them within an hour. And the memos didn't even help them. Uh, just made Trump prove, uh, just proved Trump to be an even bigger dumbass than, than we knew he was, or, or just as much. Um, he was obsessed with Russia. Uh, he was obsessed with Putin. He was upset that he didn't with Michael Flynn because he didn't uh, get a memo uh, to return a phone call to Putin. He was really upset about that. Um, he didn't. He was afraid that he didn't return a phone call in a timely manner. Um, he uh, and then while talking to James Comey, he keeps bringing up the P tape, and then he even brought up that he he and Putin talked about hookers about Russian hookers. How, how do you do that? How does that even come up in conversation? Uh, but, but I'm thinking that the Republicans released the memos before they even read them. They just thought, aha, we get it, we get it. They're, they're so um, focused on everything uh, being against them and, and being against Trump that sometimes I don't think they actually look to notice if their arguments suck, <laughs> if, if they're not good, if they actually hurt them. Uh, the memos that they released uh, d didn't do any favors to the president. And Trump doesn't know that either because he tweeted out, you know, there's no collusion. There, there's no obstruction. These memos prove it. Even though, you know, James Comey 
Everything he says is a big lie, but his memos prove that there's no collusion or obstruction of justice. Just forget the rest of the part where, where the guy's a liar, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, they're, they're just going after these guys like they're, they're monsters, like they, they're the Trump Protection Agency. When this is all said and done, and Trump is thrown out of office and a lot more people are going to prison, we have to remember all these Republicans who defended him, who uh, use their time in their office, you know. People like Trey Gowdy who had done that, uh, Jim Jordan's, Mark Meadows, Devin Nunes. I mean, they, they pretty much paid the offices of the Trump Protection Agency. It's alarming. It's disturbing. See, I think I spent like two or three minutes just doing his tongue and his horse head over and over and over. I just wasn't entirely happy with the expression. I wanted to give it more of that animal house where the horse has a heart attack and just like, you know, look, the gun goes off. And I just wasn't achieving it. I was told uh, with my last cartoon, someone um, mentioned on uh, Twitter that I didn't need to label um, Michael Cohen. But, and I tell that person, well, if you draw a person for the very first time, no matter how well you draw him, and uh, you, you, you need to put a label on him, because if it's your first time to draw him, a lot of people are not going to know who it is. And here's one of my many changes to the Rosenstein head. And I don't think I drew him that well at all in these first few. So, and even, and I like the final version, but even then, I still think he needed the label. I think a lot of readers would be like, "There's a guy in the bed," except for the, my most astute political readers. <laughs> I think I forgot to record the beginning of those. Uh, uh, the Republicans were running away from the scene. Oh, let's do some shout outs. I came to this page on my other computer for a reason. Uh, we just have two. There are many views that, not many views at all for my Cohen cartoon. Uh, just Quana and Robert. One of you people who comment here comment on my blog that they didn't like the cartoon because they didn't think uh, any sort of sexual assault was funny. And they're right. But I don't know. Uh, I don't really have a problem with doing a, a prison thingy someone like Cohen whatever especially if it makes a point um, but I do notice their criticism duly noted um, I don't want to like tear into him for disagreeing with me on that or or for not liking the cartoon for that reason because I think they got a valid reason so no I'll let that go and uh, let me go look for the uh, I go look at my bus cartoon which, by the way, was in today's Washington Post, so wasn't that cool? Yay! Um, I always like making the post. I have a friend, or a reader, who emails me every time I'm in the post, and he emails me early in the morning. So, if about 7 a.m. on Saturday mornings, if I don't get an email from him, I know I don't have to check the post. <laughs> uh, which is cool, but I still check the post anyway, at some point. Uh, on episode 78, this video is 79, by the way. I should start saying this at the beginning with the date. I didn't like Rosenstein's hands, arms, and stuff either. So I changed them around. I had him sleeping on his side. That's pretty much how I sleep, too. Uh, okay, Quana commented on the bus cartoon, and then she noticed all the faces. And uh, I might have already said all this in the last video. Robert Cortino and Ariel. And uh, I'm make sure I'm not missing anybody. I might be missing someone. Oh, wait. I'm be missing someone. Gina, Quana, Eric. No, that's about it. All right. I'm not going back any further. Even though I could eat up all the time here just to talk about that. <laughs> so when I started coloring, I kept going back to do a little bit more inking. So that meant I had to, like, go back and forth between the layers. After I create the layers, I like to get rid of the layer window because it just takes up more real estate. 
And also sometimes my hand hits it by accident. And it just really confuses me when something doesn't work right. See, now I went back to inking again. Somebody wrote on Twitter, thanks for putting the emoji in this cartoon, and I don't even know what they're talking about. What is the emoji? I don't know. I do not know what they're talking about. I haven't replied to them either. Hey, what are you talking about? Maybe I should. Maybe I, should. I can't reply to everybody or anything. And I was really, really stupid um, the other day. I had all these friend requests from all these people from foreign lands, you know. So I was like, screw it. Let me just go ahead and uh, click this up, this up, this up, this up. Click, 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 all the way down. And within like a couple of hours, two or three of them had already messaged me or poking me on Facebook or waving at me. And you know, you could wave at somebody, whatever. Or just some ridiculous stuff. So I had to like immediately unfriend them. I always feel bad about that because I don't know if somebody's a real person or not sometimes. Um, I mean, some of them you can't tell. You, you can always tell with like the woman in the bikinis. And, and it really, really helps that they put it at the top of their profile about how they want, they want to like give you oral sex because then immediately I know, okay, that's a fake one because uh, nobody's offering to do that to me. And um, so I don't accept them, I just delete them. Um, but uh, I always feel bad, mainly because if I accept a friend request, then they see more of my friends for some reason they start hitting them up. And occasionally one of my friends will message me, do you know this guy? And I'm like, you don't want to accept him, don't accept him. But uh, sorry, sorry, somebody found you through me. But the reason I just brought this up because I just saw got another one here from some woman. Uh, she almost looks like a real person, except all her photos are photos of herself. If somebody only posts photos of themselves, that is a problem. And if you can't see their friends, and they're all nothing but guys, yeah, that's another problem. That's your tips for accepting strange friend requests on Facebook, which you probably don't have to deal with. Um, you're probably not as public in it. I'm not saying, I mean public, like you click your Facebook profile public. I don't mean public because more people know me than you. But, so you probably don't have that problem because you're not a deal hole like I am. But, um, yeah, change my version sign there. I didn't know what to make this painting of, so I just wanted to make it like a smiley face, but except he's kind of in shock. So, anyway, that's my uh, beef again about the whole Facebook profile stuff. I wish I could see for sure when someone, like, because sometimes you can't really see their profile page until you accept them. I wish I could see these things for sure. And then, before I click accept. I like the, I did like the way that I changed his expression on the, on the horsey. I also didn't want to put blood everywhere on this, because I don't know, I just felt like I didn't want to, like, take the humor out of it. I mean, because you actually cut a horse's head off, that's sad. <laughs> like in a cartoon, it's funny, but but in real life, it's not a nice thing to do. It's not a good thing. Um, and I didn't want to make it more morbid. Plus, I figured by the time you get the horse's head there, it's probably like maybe it stopped bleeding by that point. Or maybe you packed it on some ice. I don't know. I don't know how you would go about doing that sort of business. You know, the funny thing is, I this is, of course, a scene from The Godfather. I have never really watched The Godfather. I, I know, that, and that's such a huge sin. I have seen The Godfather, but I mean, never really seen it. It's not one of those movies I watched again and again and again, and, and I can't tell you everything about it. I mean, I know the classic scenes. Um, I've never watched really watched the sequels. Um, I just never... Um, get into it. And I have like gangster movies. I love Goodfellas. And right now I can't think of any others. But um, if you mention a gangster movie, I'd be like, oh yeah, I love that one too. But um, and yeah, like, well, I actually never got into Casino either. Come to think of it. I thought Goodfellas was excellent. Uh, but I remember my ex-wife, when we were married, we, we were watching gangster movies a lot. Um, like Miller's Crossing, that was really good. Here's your cartoon, folks. It is done. I can't think of any more gangster movies right now. Or horse heads. I did like my Rosenstein. I think it came out pretty good. And thank you for coming by.
It is Saturday, so get out of here and go do something with your weekend. I'm going to order some food and watch Planet of the Apes tonight. The the last one, the, the third one. Uh, click the likey thingy. Um, and uh, share this with all your Goober friends. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Please, please, please. And goodbye. Have a great weekend.